Hi there, good day and welcome to TechVartiyar. I am Janira. In this video, we are going to learn about synchronous and asynchronous counters. We will implement and verify 4-bit counters using flip-flops on Logism software. A counter is a device which stores and sometimes even displays the number of times a particular event or process has occurred. Often, there is a clock pulse associated to this counting. Counters are used in digital electronics for the purpose of counting. They can count specific events that is happening inside the circuit. So, for example, in up counter, the counter increases for every rising edge of the clock. And counters are often classified into two types, asynchronous counters and synchronous counters. So, let us try and understand about asynchronous counters. Asynchronous counters are those whose output is free from the clock signal. Right, let me explain it to you. So, this is how an asynchronous up counter looks like and this is how an asynchronous 4-bit down counter looks like. And this is the timing diagram of the asynchronous counter. So, I told you it is free from the clock signal. But then if you look at the circuit, there is a clock signal that is provided. So, how is the output free from the clock signal? So, the clock signal over here is provided only to the first flip-flop. The second flip-flop gets the clock signal from the output of the previous flip-flop. Alright, so this is what happens in the next flip-flop also. So, it is getting output of the previous flip-flop as its clock pulse. So, which means that this clock pulse has no relationship with this clock pulse or no direct relationship for that matter. So, this is how asynchronous counters are free from the clock signal. So, each of the flip-flop has an independent clock pulse that is acting on it. So, let's get started. We are going to implement a 4-bit asynchronous up counter on Logisim platform. For this purpose, we need 4D flip-flop which is available in the memory here. You can click it. You can select it and place it on your screen. You can use Ctrl C, Ctrl V to create multiple copies or you can just pick and place from here also. So once that is done, we will give our input clock pulse which is available in wiring section. So you can pick it and once again place it on your screen and directly connect it to the clock pulse. And the other flip flops are not connected directly to the clock pulse. So the rest of the connections can also be given. So now we have implemented a 4-bit asynchronous up counter as well as the 4-bit asynchronous down counter. We will verify if the truth table is satisfied. For an up counter, it has to go from all zeros at the 4 bits to all ones, incrementing a single bit value at every step or with every clock pulse, there should be a 1-bit increment. Same way for a down counter, it has to start from all 1s and it has to reach all zeros when we complete 16 clock pulses. So, let's check if this is verified. So, this is the first 4-bit up counter. So, I am starting with all zeros. I give 1 clock pulse. I get D0 is 1, so you can check here that the truth table D0 is 1. Next clock pulse, I get 0010, so I have 0010 here. Next clock pulse, I have 0011. Next clock pulse, 0100. So I keep giving clock pulses at my 16th clock pulse, I have to get all 1s. Right, so this is my 16th clock pulse, and I have got all 1s. So it has incremented from all zeros to all ones with within 16 clock pulses. Now let me check for asynchronous down counter. At my first clock pulse, I get all ones, right? So now next clock pulse, I get triple one zero. So I have triple one zero here. Next clock pulse, it keeps on decrementing and finally it reaches all zeros. So, my 4-bit asynchronous up counter and down counter is verified.
The word synchronous generally refers to something which is coordinated with others based on time. The synchronous counter is one which uses the same clock signal from the same source at the same time. So if you look at this circuit, so this is a synchronous 4-bit up counter and a synchronous 4-bit down counter. So this is where the clock pulse is provided and please notice that all the flip-flops are sharing from the same clock pulse. So the same thing happens for a 4-bit synchronous down counter also. And this is the timing diagram of the synchronous counter. Let us now implement this circuit using Logisim software. So now let us implement a 4-bit synchronous up counter and a 4-bit synchronous down counter. The truth table is the same. We will be using 4 JK flip-flops here and the connectivity is a little bit different. So we'll see how the connectivity is done. So in memory, we take JK flip-flop, we place it on the screen, we use 4 JK flip-flops. So these are my completed circuits of synchronous up counter and down counter. Now let's verify the truth table. For an up counter, it has to go from all zeros to all ones in 16 clock pulses. Similarly, for a down counter, it has to go from all ones to all zeros in 16 clock pulses. So I'll move to my hand tool. I'll give a one here at the input and then I'll simultaneously start changing the clock pulses. First clock pulse, I'm get, getting 0001. So this is here 0001. I change the clock pulse. I get 0010 my second uh, values next I get 0011 so I keep changing it and around 16 clock pulses I will be getting all ones yes so it is done this is my 16th clock pulse and it has incremented from all zeros to all ones now let me check the down counter first clock pulse I get all ones next clock pulse I get 1110 and I keep in uh, changing the clock pulses so it is decrementing one by one and then finally at the end of my 16th clock pulse I have all zeros so my 4-bit synchronous up counter as well as down counter is also implemented and the truth table is verified so the things that you have to notice when you're connecting this circuit is that there is a clock pulse which is connected to all the flip-flops. So this is the reason this is a synchronous circuit. And similarly, there is a bit that is provided to the first flip-flop, a 1, which is actually the VCC. So we keep it common, we keep it 1. If it is not 1, your circuit will not work. And another important factor is that the J and K of all the flip-flops must be connected together so if there is a glitch in that you will not be able to obtain the proper output the major applications of counters include frequency counters digital clocks analog to digital converters frequency divider circuits calculation of time and timers which are available in electronic devices like ovens and washing machines digital triangular wave generation and so on. Other than synchronous and asynchronous counters, there are many other counters such as decade counter, binary counter, ring counter, Johnson counter, up-down counter and so on. I hope you enjoyed learning about counters. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.